short rest with Fonzie and Carla. Rubik's cube. All right, let's <laughs> go. I haven't done that in a while. Hey, Fonzie, oh, what's up? <laughs> what's up, man? Um, welcome back. Uh, oh, to yeah. our well, short, short break, tayo, no? <laughs> Yeah, we took a short break. Uh, I think, ano, mostly because um, nagkaroon ng bagyo and alam mo yun, we had to, ano, we had to put uh, a little pause. Short rests need long rests. <laughs> Sometimes um, I don't know where I'm going with this. But well, yeah, um, yeah, there were some technical difficulties also. Now we had to uh, encounter, and there were some threatening tweets that I had to send to our ISP. Yeah. So, <laughs> marami kaming, marami kaming ginawa, especially on my end, because very frustrating to work an online job without internet. I like, know. <laughs> very frustrating. Like you're paying for it. I'm not. I'm sorry. I'm gonna go on, off on a little tad because you're paying for it, diba? And your whole livelihood depends on it. Mm-hmm. At least the uh, 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 the best that the company could do is just um, how should I say this? Uh, like take a little off the bill whenever they actually bill you because you're losing livelihood. You're losing money. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. Yeah. So that's, I, that's challenging. But I lost some money. Then that's, mm-hmm. uh, ano, that's a downtime. I had 15 days downtime. Ah, uh, oh, damn. From the first t- time na nag-reach out ako sa nila until nagkaroon na ng action talaga and the uh, fix. But I'm happy. At least uh, the internet is back after 15 days. Um, also, it's sky. So I'd like to thank also yung mga nag-ayos talaga. And after my very threatening tweet, they... Um, <laughs> Uh, chose to yeah. uh, take action at last. So, yeah, right. <laughs> yes, and, and and what's frustrating about it, because parang nagroll na rin ako ng hit dice, is that um, it's really just a hardware issue. So mm. if I, oh. kung wala akong ginawang pagre-reklama na ganong na level, alam yun, or hindi ko, or nagantay lang talaga ako ng ganala action, or I don't think that it would, you know, I, I think it would extend po in 15 days. The problem yeah. naman talaga is hardware. It's nothing. It's nothing about parang na disconnect yung ano namin or anything. May sira talaga yung, yung uh, sky. Actual thing. Parang yeah, it's so, it's not necessarily the signal or stuff. Parang it's just the actual hardware. So yeah. yun lang. I'm hoping. I'm hoping that while a lot of um, Filipinos now depend on internet as yeah. uh, their portal no, for livelihood, I hope mm-hmm. also that. Um, these uh, internet service providers can also provide parang um, more uh, alam yun, more efficient ways of handling downtime and especially investigating yeah. at the very least no, investigating and finding out what the issue is uh, kumbaga mm-hmm. uh, medyo confusing din kasi like the, I, I see a lot of tweets that are being sent over that um, don't necessarily uh, alam mo yun parang medyo matagal na Ay, ako nag-tweet, matagal ako nag-tweet before yeah. uh, ako nasagot. Pero there are some replies na parang a few hours lang ago. Tapos naman nagtataka ako, like how do they manage um, prioritization ba sa kanilang pag-reply ng tweets? So, weird lang. So, parang yung parang na-experiment nga ako na kung paano ba ako magmura? Kung magmura kaya, <laughs> pag-reply kaya ako. Magmura ako. I saw the tweet. <laughs> Nagmura ako, nag-reply sila. <laughs> so, parang, oh, shit. Uh, you, really need, uh, you really need to look at um, your systems no? and how your social media, especially. In terms of, if, yeah. especially if you're using social media to um, cater to uh, issues and reports like this, like PLDT. Yeah. This goes across the board, no PLDTs, Smart Globe. There are some who are, are doing a better job at it. There are some who are not. So, um, Sky, my Sky. Yeah. <laughs> uh, my experience with that, at least I had this. Um, it's weird because the, the responding telco. Because I had this office mate na, or workmate na PLDT for the. Uh, no, uh, and PLDT wasn't really doing any good uh, from, in, from her area. So she's been following up on an upgrade. She's been asking on like, 
she's been suffering some signal issues lately and it took like six months before uh and it took six months to actually like me to uh you know ask someone that who knew a friend who knew a friend from PLD to maybe follow it up and ayun parang nothing happened so she shifted to sky and <laughs> sky it's a new insulation i guess so it's a no it's a mas mobilis yung response pero yun nga eh, it's a, it's sad to know lang na uh, they, they, they uh, our uh, these ano companies telecommunications companies don't ano pay particular attention to uh Or, or you know they just don't have improved social media in um, customer support um, for, uh, best practices and stuff. So say ano lang, it's sad to know that. But you know, I'm I'm glad everything is working now. Yeah. Ayan. Yeah. So far so good. So, mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. I hope ano. I hope I hope uh, everything is okay. Because I I really like I uh I, I we're holding we're holding for hit nice now no. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so in in my case naman, um it's been a very, you know, it's been a very long week and I'm actually looking forward to running Saturday games again because um Same. last ano, last ano, last um last week, no, not last week, the, the week before, um we I ran um a campaign, uh sorry, I I ran a homebrew campaign. And it felt good to actually do that. Just have the players be very, um, but uh, take part in the story and um, take part in the world that you've created for them. And you know, re- realize that up. Oh, this is also their world now. So yeah, just be open for that. Mm-hmm. Right, um, that that's ano. That's uh That's okay, I'm looking forward to our Saturday uh, to our weekend games. Right? It, during the weekdays. We'll see, because you know, uh, work has been a little bit. Uh, uh, work has been a there, there's been a load of work over the past week. Um, and uh, um, if I'm going to, I know, uh, be honest, like if you man, people, I'm not gonna mention any names or anything, but if if you break agreements, that's gonna <laughs> without even renegotiating anything. That's gonna, uh, that's gonna really, you know, that's gonna really be disruptive towards. Like I'm talking about, like some work. Right? It's not, uh, like it, uh, it, I guess, and this isn't, uh, this isn't mutually. Anyway, this this happens to everyone, I guess. But um, uh, when some clients when they um, uh, break agreements, <laughs> it's going to disrupt. You know, uh Uh, yung ano yung yung work ng mga the, the, the agency that they work with right and I'm like this is why ano this is why it's getting more stressful like you promised to give us this on this time di ba and then parang it's gonna be late and then you expect us to it's it's been ano and then you expect us to deliver at this ano great di ba so parang syempre <laughs> uh, nakaka ano siya nakaka Bukod sa disheartening, naka ano pa, naka wala ng momentum. And then may ano, parang the people, the the workers' daily routines are, ano, are um, compromised. Kasi ayun, may bagong ano eh, requirement out of nowhere. So wala lang, I just had to share that. <laughs> Pero overall, good week naman. Yeah. <laughs> That's why like relationship managers are very important. Like agencies, yeah. like with agencies, um, like I, I've done a lot of work with PR agencies before. And the thing that I really learned from working very closely with PR agencies, award-winning PR agencies, is that they really spend a lot of time uh, with relationship management and with and managing the client. That's really just an art form for them. Yeah, man. And it's different, it's... and it's very hard to be operations and at the same time manage your clients it's yeah. it's hard um, <laughs> mainly, mainly just because um, you, you are so parang mabilis ka compromise dahil sa isa and wala para middle manager to manage everything na hindi ka maka-focus lang sa yung task na yeah operations ka lang so it's just about that's that's why like 
like we see a lot of like small business owners i feel like uh, that's my theory that um sm- small business owners are parang they handle everything from sales to marketing to yes finance mm-hmm. to ano medyo medyo mahirap yan uh, to be able to oversee everything and it's hard to do that and that's why you don't see good campaigns coming from small uh, small businesses kasi Mm-mm. most of them are very uh, alam mo yun kung very focused ka sa lahat hindi ka masyado maka-excel sa iba like, yeah I mean, the creative process and stuff like that so yeah. like and hiring you know agencies have that din kasi that's a very that's a very Uh, intangible thing that you can't really measure in terms of like metrics the one but I know this is not a DND podcast <laughs> this is a DND <laughs> podcast but I love it but it 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 also relates to that one but um, it distracts you from what you could yeah do. are we talking about multi classic now because <laughs> yes <laughs> that's in a way they were but I'll, well um precisely so I, I, I Let's go. I'm going to try to go off on that tangent very briefly lang. Parang with that the second lot like multi-classing, diba? You get the benefits of each class, pero the price to pay would be you wouldn't get the full benefit of a level 20 ano, uh, um class, right? Mm-hmm. So uh, as like um ako, uh, I've reached na ano at, at least up to tier 4. And I can say na yeah, I I'm I think I'm more I'm leaning towards being more of a no uh, of a purist pag the things sa classes. Like I'm sure there's a lot of fun sa multi-classing, pero yeah, I haven't really tried it yet. So, you know, um I really I, I parang if I like oh this ranger is going to be level 20 soon and that has a really cool super skill SS, diba? <laughs> so parang Uh, yeah, I'll probably not multi-class. But are you? Have, have you multi-classed ever before? I multi- I multi-class a lot, yeah. especially for ha- my damage dealers. Um, mm. yung mostly the characters I use for like events or alam mo yung may conventions or parang alam mo parang epics mm-hmm. and stuff like that. I uh, use characters with that multi-class. Um, especially mm. if I wanted to bring like a damage dealer. Uh, like Draven, uh, who was one of the first characters that I have, who is a, uh, I think he is a rogue, a ranger, and a fighter multi-class. That ranger lot... and a fighter? Yeah. And a so, rogue? Oh, nice. It's a gloomstalker rogue uh, uh, with assassinate. Uh, That's tapos, a lot of damage. <laughs> um, who is also a fighter. So, um, That's... So, action surge. <laughs> yeah, so kung first combat ng BBEG, I deal a lot of damage. So marami nang beses na parang parang now that I look at it, parang medyo boring nga siya. Pero marami akong beses na BBEG na one round or sa round Done. ko pa lang tapos na. Uh-huh. <laughs> so, nice, uh, nice. Man, lalo na kung tier, ano kasi yun eh, parang tier 3 or tier 2, malakas na siya masado. Tier 2, tier 3, mm-hmm. malakas like maka dole out na siya ng mga 200 300 damage per first turn tapos Holy sustain shit that's a lot sustaining damage na lalo na crit kasi oh oh kasi uh, uh, with gloom stalkers kasi you have yung umbral ambush something or ambush mm. the dread ambusher ba yun tawag yun that you get three attacks for the first ano uh, first what um, <laughs> that's a lot of attacks dude so three attacks nice. pak 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 Action surge, another three attacks. Tapos imagine mo na lang kung in, tapos gloom stalker ka pa, so you can hide, no? Tapos rogue, you can bonus action hide. Or let's say hidden. And then there's the sneak attack pa, di ba? So yeah, so um, as a, kung, ano ka kung first ka to act, um, you get three attacks, action surge, another three attacks, so six attacks total. Tapos ano pa ako nang sharpshooter? So sharpshooter lahat with advantage. So, kung mag-hit yung anim, tapos kung mag-crit lang ako kahit isa or dalawa, si sakit. Masakit talaga. That's a lot of damage. That's yeah. a ton of damage. Nice. That's a lot of damage. So, it's wow. it's it's fun in that aspect, pero also at the same time, para at a certain extent, para parang ay, corny. Go, 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 go. Patay. To be fair, it, <laughs> that next. <laughs> To be parang, fair, that would be like cool in real life if you see it, diba? Just yeah. a rogue, ano, just going, just jumping around in the shadows, that was big lang. Just 
crossbow bolt sa monsters coming out of nowhere. That's a cool thing to admit this. And I'm like the cleric like, so no healing needed, I guess. <laughs> Only one shot. Yeah. Uh, yeah, but and yung parang nakikita mo yung mga muka ng DM sa parang, oh my god, you one shot niya kay BBEG. <laughs> That's so well, cool though. Yeah, so parang more or less parang may mga characters na rin. Like, ako din as a, as a DM parang you encounter characters that are heavily, are, are stronger because of the multi-classing. Uh, mm-hmm. And they're particularly difficult to uh, defeat. So, kailangan mo talagang pag-isipan, okay, paano ko man to, paano ko man to sila i-challenge? Because what yeah. is written on the mod doesn't necessarily challenge them. Kasi, yun nga. Ah, <laughs> yeah. Like, sometimes you have to modify that. Lalo pagdating sa AL. True. Yeah. And you can if you if you want to. Um, yeah. It's, and, it's for fun for the players. Definitely. Yeah. Uh-huh. And I've learned na rin over the past few months to not hold back na. <laughs> But yeah, I, that's our tangent for that one. We'll take classic and focusing. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. So uh, let's talk okay, about let's talk about your um, homebrew then. Um, oh yeah. Um, the last week yeah. we were not really able to talk about it. Uh, yeah, but we were able to. Uh, we are publishing the game soon. If you're good with that, we are able to. I I have the recording, so we can we can publish that game soon. I'll give yeah. you a copy first and review it. But can you talk a little bit more about you know a spoiler-free introduction of the world? Yeah, that you created for uh, so, us. I'm gonna be honest. The only thing that I created was when I intro the world to you guys, which was a 10 minute monologue. <laughs> I'm so sorry. But six minutes, five minutes probably naman. Pero those are actually from your guys, ano, um, like I made you fill up a Google form, if you can remember, to give us an idea where a character came from, etc. And then I just built the world from there. Right? You have backgrounds, you have villages, etc. You have your classes. And I just... Uh, I just wrote the I, I just wrote the world the no, the world from there. I put in the settings. So Nejo, uh, as per usual, I'm the kind of guy who rips stuff off of existing ano <laughs> IPs just so, uh, to have a good uh, setting for you guys. And yeah, I know uh, I um I put it all together. So there'll be um yeah th- that that's basically it. Parang I just explained the world to you, and that you guys are in a guild now. Uh, and yeah, we'll ad- adventure waits, I guess. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Pero ano, um, if if I could set your expectations, it's I'm a fan of the epic fantasy kind of oh everyone's gonna be a hero kind of deal. Mm-hmm. So I that that's what you can expect. So, in this grim dark or anything. Although there will always be, you know, there will always be opportunities of that of those kinds of experiences. But oh yeah, um, yeah, that, that's basically how I know how I um, how I plan to or how I hope the the campaign is going to be like. But in terms of preparation for it, beyond really, I just uh, before I used to write this all this shit up, the uh, parang spent days on it now i'm just like whatever the player gives me i'll just work with it and just you know um create a story out of that or create story beats that allow for the players to react to them and i think genuinely now after years of playing dnd i think that's how a homebrew is played you don't get to put people on tracks you you just okay this is what you give me fine I'll, this is what happens you you, you adjudicate and you know Uh, yeah, and yeah, particularly, and yeah, sorry, go certain, ahead. That, that's, that's certainly possible. No? But um, in terms of like uh, how your story, in terms of like the overarching theme of it, um, did you get to more or less uh, write that down or plan it out, or are you really leaving like an open world for your players now? Mm, leaving, I'm pretty much leaving an open world. I'm tr- in this campaign. I'm trying to um, practice my improvisation skills and really have the combat encounters just... <laughs> I don't want to say templated, but I have like several ano, ready na. And it's all going to be determined by a roll of a 1d10. 
Pero yeah, there, uh, I, I guess there will be ano, there will be some story beats na talagang focus, they're very focused na on your guys' stories because all of you have such I'm so grateful that you guys are so very, ano, generous when it comes to story. Like for example for your ano, for your uh, bard character um Fonji um there's a lot of ano, there's a lot of things that I can draw from that. Right? And he's from Baldur's Gate and stuff, <laughs> which is like north of Orgrimmar. Diba? Weird. <laughs> Dami kayo pinano na involved. Pero, yeah, you're, uh, there's there's really a lot of ano, uh, major stories na more character-centric rather than my, ano, my, like, before kasi pinupush ko yung kung anong gusto kong story na ibigay. Ngayon, I'm like, yeah, uh, there's stories na that are going to play out pero character centric na siya based on the stories that you gave me. Mm-hmm. And it's open world pa rin, so different ano, different kinds of um, encounters definitely. But yeah, it's um like, like there's speak- eventually going to be a big bad pero right. we'll see kasi again I'm trying to practice my improvisation skills eh. <laughs> Like uh, you, you talked a little bit more. Uh, you talked about or mentioned Baldur's Gate. Like, is there a particular reason why, um, parang you chose to create your own world as to using, you know, existing D and D, Forgotten Realms. Um, I'm gonna be honest. Uh, yeah. Uh, in real life, I'm not very good with maps. <laughs> so you know what? If I if I don't know, I know if I don't in real life, I don't know how to use maps. So if I look a ma- at a map, parang okay, this is the Forgotten Realms. Uh, I don't know, kasi I, I don't know yung um, lore behind each of these places. So I rather I create it na lang. Mm-hmm. It's much easier to put things and establish things. And from a writer who world builds, kasi parang yeah, I I can just uh, make up stuff along the way. Mm-hmm. Pero uh, at uh, with a, with a, with a basis of real world, you know. Like uh, of real world, um, with the basis of the real world, of course. Like where you guys came from, you came from, and I know, um, or uh, the girl that you're in uh, is actually in, I know, uh, somewhere to the close, uh, somewhere close to the north, where basically rivers and. But what I'm saying is the land is very fertile, and but your your the specialty of your particular uh, village is. Your creation of mead or wine, de ba? If I can remember correctly, <laughs> I haven't really reviewed that, no. Pero yeah, parang again grassroots level. So parang I was uh, I was able to create these uh, uh, locals, cities, etc. Na with I know with with the basis that this is what they're able to produce, this is what they're able to know. This is how the uh, politics in that particular uh, area. Um, ha- uh, work so parang yeah that, that's basically how I you know I uh, pattern the world do you plan on uh, like in terms of like creating your own world do you plan on, what else do you plan on creating aside from you know the geography are I mean, there any like creatures that you'd like to introduce or yeah is, there's or, always gonna be new creatures man mm-hmm. I mean I love creating monsters Yeah. I love The Witcher, so I love creating monsters. That's true. Yeah. Um, especially, look, what do you find like The Witcher uh, monsters to be, you know, to be to stand out? That gives them that ability to stand out from other um, sources of inspiration. What makes The Witcher uh, lore uh, more um, attractive to you in that sense? Hmm. Crash. How do I answer that? Um, I guess you can say that uh, it's because uh, the Witcher lore is very much uh, heavily. Hi, Kali. Is that Kali again? Uh, is very much heavily influenced by Polish um, folklore. But correct me if I'm wrong. CD Project Red. Hi, Kali. <laughs> And uh, no, parang I I just like the the culture behind that and the stories that these. Uh, uh, the stories that uh, these um, creatures are supposed to tell, or the, the, the like, the, the emotions that these um, stories are supposed to instill to people who hear them, 
So often times when you when a uh, parent tells his child that don't go there because uh, the lady of the lake might uh, drown you. That's really just telling your the child not to go near the lake because he might fall in and drown. Uh, and that instills the fear. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I, 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 that's that's what I like about uh, the Witcher, na, no, na, na creatures. There's always a story behind each of these, you know, each of these monsters, and some of them, um, well, not technically uh, evil. Some of them are good, and, and I guess, you know, I you know, that's one thing that I like about them. And yeah, that's a lot of you'll be seeing a lot of those creatures in, you know, in the campaign. Like what are, Pero, what yeah. are other sources like of in terms of like the Witcher? Are there other sources of like inspiration you draw from in terms of like creating background stories about monsters or just mainly the visual uh, aspect of the monsters? And it's you know. how should I? Uh, I I haven't really planned ahead because yeah, obviously I'll be using some um, standard dun- Dungeons and Drag uh, Dungeons and Dragons monsters. So yeah, uh, well I'll have some some of these you know some of the some of these monster stats will be based off of those uh, uh, in the monster manual. Except you know probably heightened, add a little, uh, add some more abilities and whatnot. So yeah, again these are like most of these are templated, but the special uh, ones uh, those will be story beat related or those will be very much character centric. So yeah, I mean one of the players. Um, no, no, never mind. It might be a spoiler. <laughs> so yeah, yeah. Yeah, in terms of like um, uh, drawing out the story, like how do you see? Uh, like, what is the difference between you know creating that more planned out story beat? Like in your experience, in, in your like one episode experience of this new style of. Um, approaching world building and story building like what do you feel like is the most palpable difference between this um, this new thing that you're trying this open world thing that you're trying versus um, your old style of the emperor like what do you feel like is the most uh, significant difference I actually don't have to surprisingly don't have to do much of the work (laughs) <laughs> like um, there are prepared instances. There will be instances that a story beat is triggered. But overall, like I, I don't spend again. I don't put you on tracks. Nah, I don't put the players on track any on tracks anymore. Because uh, when you put them on tracks, you have to build those tracks, pa. You have to get them to a certain point, right? So I think you guys. I'm, I'm not sure. Uh, pero you guys chose to you know. Uh, one you you were you guys were given three quest options and you went with the closest one, which is uh, I think also the highest paying one, which is to um, uh, I think to find the murderer in that particular uh, village or no city it's a city now, so yeah I uh, I have a setting for that and I have some NPCs ready for that but other than that. Uh, yeah, it's it's all up to you guys. <laughs> Just don't piss off some city guards, and there won't be anything. There won't be bad. Nothing bad would happen. <laughs> yeah, uh, that that's good to know. <laughs> like, <laughs> like as as um like you as a player and having played different types of uh, games in terms of um prepared worlds and like D and D or wizards. Um, prepared uh, campaigns and stuff like where do you feel like uh, gives you the most uh, in terms of like bang for the buck like where, where do you feel like creatively or as a player where do you feel like you find yourself more engaged in the story when like in terms of the three types of things like the uh, published adventures or is it homebrew with a certain sense of open world setting or a homebrew that has more or less a, a skeleton of a, an adventure. Where do you feel like you resonate more? Right now, um, 
Na ito, I, 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 like I, I, I mean I I I, uh, I mentioned this in one of our episodes ano Fonzie um, I'm not I'm not particularly fond of AL anymore but I'll still play AL games definitely but yeah um I guess I'll have to go for the, I, I I'm resonating more with the open world thing now mm-hmm. na homebrew like, I'll get to create a few ano Uh, things here and there, and then you know, have my friends complete the rest for me. <laughs> yeah, uh, overall, uh, like D and D is an experience that um, that that that's not only for the DM, it's not only for the players. It's really more of a give and take kind of uh, uh, kind of relationship between the players and the uh, yeah, and the and the DM. I mean, you as a DM, di ba pang Uh, I guess I'll I'll ask you, um, yeah, I'll, I'll ask you the same question. Where do you resonate with most? Like as a DM, uh, mm-hmm. well, I feel like um, my prepared, like prepared stories, are mm-hmm. not as you know they're not, um, but there are certain times that you would need to railroad certain car- uh, certain yeah. story beats, like mm-hmm. that can the like in terms of just story and just how i learned in terms of like prepare in terms of like long-term campaigns and stuff like and published works from wizards and stuff Baldur's mm-hmm. gate and other adventures and stuff you know um there are certain instances where um there is a little bit of a story beat that has to be that has to take place or not have to take place but parang, alam yun, parang it's strongly suggested that it does take place yeah um I, I particularly like um, DMing homebrews that are that more or less have that structure because as a DM it gives me a little bit more of a vision of like where the story is going to go and it gives me a little bit more time to um, visualize what the next session could look like although mm. more more or less a lot of the times they don't really necessarily have uh, the, they don't follow the 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 prep that i usually make but more or less mm-hmm. at least it gives me a certain security blanket that i have something prepared uh um next session just in case uh, just in case like it, yeah. like if there are certain sessions that are that feel a little bit like creatively and not not everyone is there or you feel like the party just needs a little bit more pushing forward in terms of like You know, there are certain games like that, but there are certain games mm-hmm. as well that you don't really need to. Um, you just need to keep up with your players in terms of where <laughs> they're not. So yeah, yeah it, for me, it just gives me a little bit more of a security blanket in that sense that it gives me confidence in a way that, uh, in a way that preparation, you know, grants you. Like in yeah, the, I, yeah, I prepared for this, so I. Feeling a little bit confident about the next session. I've I've gone into sessions not really prepared for anything, you just with an open mind and stuff like that. It's not really. It's a it's it's doable, but parang it, it has a lot then of like. I don't like it when I introduce certain uh, environments and not be prepared. Yeah, uh, although I don't mind it. Like I, I feel like uh, there are certain like especially like uh, I ran in an AL mode. I think na parang hindi ko masadong na basa yung ano pero parang okay lam pala. <laughs> lam pala din yun, ano. And there to are. To be time- fair, I, I, was that with us? Yeah, that was with you. I, yeah, the, we didn't notice the difference. It was like you were really good at it. And I'm like, yo, this is an actual adventure. I doubt you didn't read this before. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, uh, there are some. Parang pinasa ko lang siya in alam mo yun. Parang there are times that parang uh, I look at the mod, and, and and I don't like that. I don't like being. Ah uh, yeah. Like, I of, mean, as as someone who is there, then like I, I might have misread. Ano, yung mga mods then sometimes. So I have to wait lang guys. Ah, I'll tell you guys to wait when when that's I'm really getting the mood. Yeah, the mod. Yeah, I, I get that. <laughs> yeah, funny story then. Funny story because. Uh, this uh, was season 9 I think season 9 uh, tier 1 mods 
that I was running a specific mod for AL. Tapos I was going through yung introductions. Tapos mm-hmm. there was parang there's this thing na parang sa introduction ng module parang the players over here um, someone who who is parang nasa love ng Baldur's Gate sila and someone mm-hmm. is being reprimanded for um, their lack of you know uh, competence for being a for being Oof. flaming fist ganun ganun uh-uh. tapos one one player said na parang ah, parang parang naano ko na to before tapos ako parang o oh, ano parang is this the right mod tapos yun pala <laughs> Yung introduction na yun was was for a mod previous to this one. Ah, okay, okay. <laughs> so I was I, I was running the a different module, but I was introducing the the mod. Another. <laughs> so ay, parang na, pa, stop ako sa track so parang oh, ano? No, pa check na so parang I, 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 while while in, while alam mo while going through and describing the scene, I was alt tabbing and looking at the different mode of oh shit tama nga siya so paano ko to in the middle of character uh, introductions no i was i was parang problem solving na kung paano ko i-transition to from to that, the, to that actual mode oh so, shit that was really bad but i was able <laughs> to more or less do it in a way na parang hindi siya disruptive sa game and parang nawala sila sa kanilang uh, immersion kumbaga like As yeah. far as I'm concerned, parang, ah, they probably didn't notice. Pero, <laughs> so sa akin, parang, how stupid could I be? Na parang masyado akong, masyado akong, ano, masyado akong hindi nagbasa. <laughs> hindi masyado akong hindi prepared coming into the game. Uh, so I've yeah. ran the mod na din kasi a number of times. So parang, medyo complacent na ako. Alam ko uh, na ito, rise ko na ito, alam ko na anong gawin. Tapos mayroon akong prepared speech kung ano yung sinabi. <laughs> I, all of a sudden, I have this ano, idea na, ano, let's we'll talk about it uh, later. Uh, I'll, ano, I'll, um, I'll do a little bit of research on it, pero let's talk about the top uh, the top 10 uh, Dungeon Master mistakes. <laughs> we'll be going to the Reddits for that. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll be, ano, that's we'll, definitely uh, an episode in itself. Like, yeah, di ba? So like para, in terms um, of, ano. kahit, kahit kahit ako, if I could just remember yung mga top 10 DM mistakes. <laughs> yeah, man. That's the, that's tough. I mean, I have a lot. I mean, you DM more than I DM. So, uh, you're, you know, uh, yeah, we'll have some stories. <laughs> yeah. Definitely. So, definitely. Like, I've heard And also, I, like, I, I, I heard a lot of also, uh, like stories then from, you know, other DMs, like, Uh, sa Davao group namin the DMs we like to huh. shit on DMs that are that make mistakes so oh. para may akong stories din na collect yeah, through the years na parang dapat pag mo ulitin ha parang sinasabi lang nila sa akin parang, don't do that yeah definitely kasi ano eh para these are fun ano, things to talk about din para we learn from our mistakes anyway but And, yeah speaking of ano uh, uh, sorry go ahead you were gonna say something you were gonna uh, say something yeah uh, I was I was just gonna say na parang most of the perceived DM mistakes are more related sa rules. Um, yeah. Which is unavoidable kasi we can't really memorize all the rules. Sometimes we do make yeah. mistakes. Uh, and uh, sometimes it's good to just look up the rules and, you know, some DMs don't like to do that. So, medyo mali, no? no parang hindi ka, mm. hindi mo siya ma-rule. But you also have din kasi parang the ability to rule against the rule just because... <laughs> just because you're the DM no parang yeah. you, you can para make an exception no parang you still have autonomy over that and yeah. most of the mistakes din na notable talaga that are really that really stand the test of time in terms of like you know parang hindi na talaga siya ma-erase it's really just <laughs> engraved in the walls of ano, alam mo yun, for eternity the hall of shame the hall of shame <laughs> They're they're really mistakes because they're really mistakes because of parang ego or just being an asshole or just, alam yeah. yun, parang just generally that... those themes that mm-hmm. parang reflect more on the character of the DM rather than the ruling of the rule or the interpretation of yeah. it, stuff like that. Yeah, and it's really just about that. The parang yun din na notice ko na parang wag na like there I have some stories to tell uh, when that episode comes. No? Yeah. <laughs> Cut to that episode. 
<laughs> no, let's, let's let's talk about it next week. We have, yeah, we have an episode na na. Um, you were talking about uh, season nine um, content kanina na na naalala ko parang season 10 just came out, right? A uh, lot of controver- controversy. It's not controversy. A lot of ano lang. A lot of mixed reactions lang pertaining to AL. I'm not a fan of AL very much. I'll still play games, but I'm kind of okay, cool, fine. Uh, all I care about is the story and I got we got that really cool answer from the groups about how the timeline uh, of ano the timeline of adventures league quote and quote works right so parang um you you've ano you've you did a little bit of reading na for ano uh the i think the season 10 what you call it realm of the frost maiden right mm-hmm. yeah how was it uh i haven't i haven't really delved into it um it it, it gives you uh, a very interesting track in terms of what you can do as an adventure. It's mm-hmm. not like Baldur's Gate that it has a set, although it does have a certain you know guidelines or guideposts in terms of story. But um, you have the opportunity to start adventures depending on where you want adventures to start. Um, mm. It's sort of similar to uh, the Curse of Strad. It just gives you suggestion that you can start here at the town of, you know, at the town of Barovia and stuff like that, or mm-hmm. uh, or the central town of Barovia. But uh, generally, like as you experienced, you started your adventure, you don't know where, right? Yeah, and you're just heading towards the town of uh, the village of Valak. So it gives you that kind of freedom that you can actually start wherever it is that you want. It's kind of like very sandboxy in that sense. Mm-hmm. And given that I'm reading the Adventures League knuckleheads and other such curiosities, like a, it's the travels guide or the guide to Icewind Dale. Yeah. Um, it's gives it gives you a lot of options in terms of like uh, subclasses which are interesting. Uh, that are very thematically placed to the entire uh you know the entire theme of it being in a a set in a ice you know icy realm and stuff like that there are i I would die there (laughs) new subclasses uh for sorcerers for clerics that are very interesting that uh we mentioned like a little bit i i I texted it to you carlo uh this frost-blooded sorcerer origin Uh, yeah which uh, which is very interesting. Uh, it gives you frost magic, giving you almost like a uh, certain uh, powers similar to a character very dear to your heart. Yes, yes, indeed, indeed, Fonzi. <laughs> Let me tell you how many, how my love for the <laughs> Disney princess that is Elsa um, burns with the intensity of a thousand suns. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. God. Yeah, and aside from that, there are very interesting also their backgrounds that are introduced. Like yeah. this one I'm reading right now, it's called the Whaler. So Whaler, um, not uh, Whoa. so uh, a hunter of whales. Okay. So a Whaler. Yeah. So it's interesting. Like uh, it gives you proficiencies in it. athletics and survival. It gives you a fishing tackle and water vehicles in terms of tool proficiencies, and also gives you equipment that are that are more you know. Uh, <laughs> more keen to like it gives you a, a javelin a well-used knife lanterns just five pints Gosh. of whale oil and stuff like that so it yo very very um interesting character um character interaction yeah yeah dude that's 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 sick i say and it's weird too because kanina while I was waiting for you to be on that I was singing like the drunken whaler song so <laughs> that's weird yeah, and it has a feature. It's called yeah. balanced. So um, you never lose your balance due to stormy seas. That's fun. <laughs> oh well, yeah, because you gives you sea legs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's so. Dumb. That's cool, dude. Yeah. That's... You don't lose your balance, so you don't. Do you get? Do you still get prone? Do you still get knocked prone, ba? Uh, you don't lose your balance. Eh? Never, you never lose your balance due to stormy seas. So when it comes to stormy seas, you never. That's cool. Right? That's so cool. You, oh, that's cool, man. Because 
Yeah, I, I, I'm looking through the I'm looking through the backgrounds right now. Oh my gosh, yo, there's a survivor background. Yeah. <laughs> All of a sudden, I'm hearing "Eye of the Tiger" right and now. And there are and there are a lot of like there are new spells that are mm-hmm. very uh, <laughs> interesting. Like for example, there's there's a it's a it's a six diameter six inch diameter snowball and you okay. put it on the ground you speak a command word and it creates okay. an instant igloo <laughs> <laughs> Rocky shit. Yes, that's cool man yeah there are lo- my question is if yeah, if put in like warmer in a warmer climate with it like it is the frost magical if you put I, i'm asking because if what if it goes if it you know goes to more temperate regions less colder regions does it melt which one you you the, the snowball that turns Wait. into an igloo uh let me see maybe that would be that's sick though is this yung snilog single snowball Oh no, this is not. Never mind. It's it's a damage, you know. <laughs> it's a damage thing. Yeah, it's fun. It's fun. It is fun. I can see a guy just riding a dragon? Question mark. No, it's it is a dragon. Oh, shit. Wow, dude. Can who's running this for us? <laughs> Which of the table? Uh, who from the tabletop Titos is finally ascending into dungeon master level? <laughs> uh, uh, I think it's uh, Nico. Who's going to nice. Run. I can't wait. Yeah. Uh, I like, played. Uh, so, sorry, I played, go ahead. I, I played with Nico before as a DM. Uh, he, mm-hmm. As he he was DMing. Uh, oh, he was okay. running. So he has ascended. Yeah. Ascended. He has, an a, he has an AL mod. That I used Steve Rogers to. <laughs> <laughs> Steve, okay. Uh, very annoying is Steve Rogers, brawler na ano, fighter. Uh, does he is he armed with a shield by any yes. chance? A shield okay. and unarmed strike. <laughs> Wait, what's his? What's his? Uh, he's a fighter. He's a fighter. Yeah, fighter, oh, okay. shield, unarmed strike. Tapos, yeah. Tapos, I use shield bash a lot. Tapos, may ano din, yung fighters na parang they, cre- they wreak havoc in terms of what they can do with their shields and stuff. So, it's very flavored towards that. Um, yeah, I have this. I think he's tier 2 now. God bless him. <laughs> wow, nice. You uh, can do this all day. <laughs> yeah, I can. Until a long rest. <laughs> He is, yeah, he is a battle master, pala. Battle master. No, battle masters are the best at everything. A little bit better than most fighters in everything else. Yeah. So it's fun. So uh, he's fun to use, although not very fun in terms of like, like, uh, like tier two. You expect them to have some tr- other monsters at the very least to have resistances over magic items and stuff but he's more of a utility guy like knocks people yeah. prone a lot and like commands other people to attack they're using he his is captain america <laughs> right? yeah. Right, captain yeah. america yeah and when you think about it parang steve rogers really can't do anything in a if he is fighting a giant that's bigger than thanos when you think about it diba? so it's just his utility he leads the, he leads that's his best attribute <laughs> yeah, I was thinking of I was thinking of other things like other characters in terms of the Marvel sense and how to transport them to D and and what that would look like. Like Thor nice. would be a cleric slash. I was gonna say, yeah, yeah a te- a temp- storm tempest cleric, I think. Yeah, tempest yeah. cleric, yeah, or like a wrath of the storm, maybe or something. I don't know. Um, Iron Man would be a wizard. <laughs> <laughs> Iron Man would be a warlock, I think. A warlock. Oh warlock. yeah, that's that's true. Uh, uh, his patron know. would be science. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so I was thinking about that. So just random things. It's cool, man. <laughs> yeah. Now I now I have I uh, know other characters to I uh, know to base my some of my characters out of. Yeah. <laughs> Um, 
Yeah, and what he usually does is he just grapples a lot of people, puts them down and stuff. Knocks them, ano, knocks them down and ano. <laughs> ano, I think there's a command, ano, di ba? There, he has a command um, feature kapag battle master siya. Yeah, he can com- yeah. command other people to attack as his reaction. <laughs> so it's fun. <laughs> It's fun. I'm seeing a lot of ano. I'm seeing a lot of uh, ano dito sa um, Icewind Dale. Na yeah. Nakal- uh, yeah. In terms of like, uh, we can go through siguro like in the next episode we can discuss yeah. uh, like the top five spells or from Icewind Dale and stuff like Backgrounds, that. Backgrounds, yeah. yeah we'll we have a lot of episodes. <laughs> yeah. The ideas already. You see what yeah. the long rest can do. Yeah. We now have action surge. So many ideas. <laughs> Hello, Kali. So oh, many. Hello. <laughs> Man, Kali is so cute. Yes. Couldn't, I couldn't bring an ano. I couldn't bring uh, I couldn't bring pets in the ano in the condo unit. So okay, lang. It's already tough taking care of myself. <laughs> I can't take care of other creatures, ma. <laughs> I'll stick yeah. with plants for the time being. I've been living alone. You've been. Uh, is this your first time living by yourself? No, I've left. I've lived by myself for like ilan ba? for years now since oh, 2011. So it's not oh, the first. I I I I know I, I live by myself and that's really it. Pero I guess uh, I, I I never really had the opportunity to get pets because <laughs> of the limitations ng condo units that I stay in. Okay lang yun. Okay lang. Yeah. The, the best pets I have cockroaches. I, there's fish? one I named Larry. Oh, fish! Oh, no, I haven't really thought about that. Sure anyway, nice. you okay, can feed it. your cockroaches to the fish. <laughs> Get big enough. Larry, fish. no! <laughs> no. <laughs> Larry. Oh God. Right. So, yeah. I guess I know. So I think it's. Like I'm uh, super excited for tonight's game and for tomorrow night's game. Uh, I think you're running for tomorrow, no? Uh, it's uh, are you doing Curse of Strad or um, Barrio? Uh, depends. Uh, if everybody's complete, then Curse of Strad. Yeah. If not, then Barrio Alonso. It's yeah, fine. Cool. Yeah, I'm, I'm I'm chill with that. Uh, I'm chill with whatever. For now, I need to just. I guess I need to prepare some. I need to prepare a few more characters lang for tonight because you guys are. If you guys are going on that, ano, on that detective, ano. Say, uh, on the detective case, then I'll need to prepare a good, ano, detective. <laughs> I need to prepare a good, ano, uh, set of evidence that you can, you guys can look into. Nice. And prepare all my, prepare all my um, English accents, cause, <laughs> yeah, there's Easy. that. All right, great. <laughs> um, right. So, uh, where can they find me, Carlo? <laughs> Yeah, where can they, where can they find you, Fonzie? Uh, you can find me. <laughs> Hell yeah! <laughs> self promotion, another <laughs> self shilling right there. <laughs> you, can, you can find me on Twitter or Instagram. Uh, look for Fonzie Toot at Fonzie Toot, F O N Z I T O T, or uh, we have a Facebook page, Activate Leadership, PH. Um, no PH, but Activate Leadership, uh, and it's a podcast as well. Uh, so we're uh, running, going to launch season two of that very soon, and yeah. So that's yo wait, do you have seasons? Yeah. <laughs> seasons. How how can short rest have seasons? You can't, because <laughs> we just talk well, about D and D. Whereas my right. podcast, we talk about communication. Talk about oh, so okay. there are seasons to that. Oh. All right, cool man. <laughs> All right. Uh, you can find me naman sa ano sa social media Carlo Geeks Out they have a Facebook page um, I also have an ano I also have a um, uh, a website uh, however it is still under maintenance I'm ano I I'm, I'm putting I'm ano putting in some resources to really make the site better and you know I plan to embed all these short rest episodes in the website and then have like notes on the topics that we talk about so there's there's gonna be a lot of writing from my end at least and yeah you could also follow uh, both me and Fonzi and the rest of our ano. Um, Uh, D&D group uh, Tabletop Titos Just do a quick search ano, Sa Facebook Tabletop Titos 
And you can also find us in YouTube. Uh, subscribe, Tabletop Titos, Carlo Geeks Out. And yeah, help us get to 100 subscribers. We provide content that's um, it's not your typical I know, D&D content. I'm going to say that. <laughs> we're we're going to come up with a you know, highlights episode soon. That's on me because I really like uh, the funny moments <laughs> when it comes to our, you know, our role playing. Anyway, that's uh, that's it. Thank you again, guys. If you have any th- any suggestions on what we want to talk about, uh, or if you if you have any questions, let us know through our respective social media places. And we'll see you again next time. Time to go off into the world after this short rest. Bye bye. Bye bye. Short rest with Fonzie and Carla.